Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back. Going to talk to the bar the Baron, following the Sergeant here. Heading over, see what we can we can get ourselves into. I'm assuming he's up there, like the last important leader of whatever we talk to, so. Bam, bam. I was right, I think. Loading screen. Emphysema. Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Am I gonna get the talk here? Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Um. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm. I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Guess we're going inside to speak to the Baron. Guess this is happening like this. It's good this dude wasn't a prick like the last guy. Like, I'm not telling you shit until you kill the Griffin. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here a dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby, best in Velen, for the horse oh, nice burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some oh, their shit. wives, others their daughters. I'm gonna have to go and find his wife and daughter. Get to I the think. point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Am I gonna play a Siri again? Not what I expected. I thought I was gonna. I thought he was gonna have me go and search for his wife and daughter. And at least maybe find their dead bodies or whatever. Or find the people who kidnapped them. Um, since I saw those posters in the last episode, I that that I made an ass assumption and I was wrong. So I'm wondering what Said two beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Oh shit, that would hurt. Oh, hell. All the river bed of hell. <sighs> that was close. I must leave this place. If Ciri's a witcher, why does she only have one sword? Oh, 
just just wondering. Thought Witchers always had two swords. You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. But then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up. <sighs> Follow Greca. Greca. Alright, where are we gonna go here? Wolves! Quick! Hide! Whoa, there's a shit ton of them. There are a shit ton of wolves. Oh shit! I notice in series we don't have anything to heal us. Is that all of them? Can I loot these ones actually? You can come out now! Hmm. Massacred. By something with immense claws. What does looting these do for me? All right. Let's keep going. Look, there's something there. Holy shit! Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. That might have been her father. Mm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Mm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? 
Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Was that thing really called Rape Seed? Really? Okay. Hey, Gretka. I need to check this. Okay, there's the wolf thing. Something that's useless. Wolves. Hi. Oh shit! Oh god, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. They're gone. You can come out. You cut them up bad. The Wolf King will be angry. It's dead. But a pig here? Must be a human settlement nearby. I need one more thing of fool's parsley. And now I think I know what they kind of look like. This is it right here. The king of the wolves. Alright, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. Wow, Gretka, thanks for making it a monologue. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. This should be interesting. Greca, what are you doing? Just walk, just walk down the path like a normal person. Mm, it's dead. But a pig here? Must be a human. Do they send backwards. their children out to follow like the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. So I'm assuming they're sacrificing children and people to the Wolf King so that he this doesn't way. attack. Through the cave. You lead. So that he doesn't attack the village. But since this girl, little girl, wandered off the path, I'm assuming it's at the village. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not. Guess that was my assumption, but I feel like I just heard the werewolf. Maybe not. <laughs> hey, what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! This dude's lucky day. Oh, damn, Uncle Vesemir's thing. Holy shit. Holy hell, Uncle Vesemir's thing just... Holy shit. Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on.
You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Yaren. Must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren the... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home? Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. And I assume his lord to be the Bloody Baron. I think. Hopefully I'm right. Maybe wrong, but uh, it's my assumption at this point. I should probably make it stop making assumptions because they've been wrong so far in this episode. So maybe this episode I should stop making assumptions. Would probably be a good idea. was right made the right assumption just who do you think you brought me man that's not me daughter and the little one neither damn it i think i'd know my own child well uh, might might not be yours the older one but you've got to admit the likeness that's downright striking so any chance for that reward you'll not see one fucking copper get out before i set my hounds on you what an idiot. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. All right. I wonder, are we still going to be in series memory? Or so not memory, I ordered series. my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. I want, I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Well, I knew it was coming. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon. As if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Hmm. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides... Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard-to-find nooks 
If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? They've been eating dirt long since. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her things. Nothing unusual. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. What if they were just in their rooms? I'd die. I'd literally just drop dead. I'd start, I'd start laughing so hard. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our bedchamber. Tomorrow's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. Okay, so maybe someone came into their room, her room, and took her. I'm a horrible person. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Oh, I'm a horrible person. Stealing from people that are kidnapped. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Alright, so we need to move this out of the way. Hmm. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. So I was... I was right. Thought it was a fight. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Um, not see. Oh, here deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Have to be an axe by the look of it, I think. More good stuff to steal. I'm a horrible person. Oh, what about this? Huh. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Ooh, 
goes down the stairs. Let me check out this room first. Let's see what's in here. Incense and an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise, sandalwood, and something else. Saffron. Wow, that's one bed. That's one big bed. Doll and some candy. Hopefully I'm not going to get in trouble here for... for taking stuff out of the room. I wouldn't assume... Okay, I guess it's time to... To locate Think the of those scabies. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Talk to the Baron about what you found. Done poking around. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Hmm. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Scabies. All right. This is locked. I thought maybe that rusted key would open that. Or we're now tasked with finding the Peller's hut. So I think I'm going to call it an episode, guys. I just was sitting here during the dialogue and remembered something. So we'll be doing that in the next episode. Stay tuned to find out what on earth I am talking about. And I'll catch you guys in that episode. Peace out, guys.